Nuclear fuel is the most concentrated form of energy on Earth. But did you know a single pellet is about the size of a grape? Do you know where it comes from? Or where it goes when it's used up? This little fuel pellet can generate enough electricity to power an average U.S. household for about 10 days. To create the same amount of electricity, it would take three barrels of oil, or 1,500 pounds of coal, or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. The process of mining uranium, enriching it, fabricating fuel pellets, generating electricity, and disposing of waste products is referred to as the nuclear fuel cycle. The nuclear fuel cycle begins with naturally occurring uranium mined from deep within the Earth. Natural uranium can't sustain a nuclear reaction on its own, though. Its fissile isotope, U-235, must be concentrated to between 3 and 5 percent, a process known as enrichment. Then, the enriched uranium can be turned into our little pellet of fuel. These pellets are packed tightly into fuel rods, and the rods are bundled together into a fuel assembly. Rod assemblies are carefully positioned inside a nuclear power reactor core, where controlled fission reactions heat water to generate electricity. In an open fuel cycle, spent fuel rods are transferred to robust storage casks made of concrete and steel, which isolates the fuel from the environment. If we could stack all of the spent fuel for more than 50 years of U.S. nuclear energy production in one place, it would fill a single football field and stand about 20 feet tall. A closed nuclear fuel cycle recycles and reprocesses used fuel to generate more electricity. More than 30 countries use nuclear power. Some, like the United States, use the open fuel cycle, while others use the closed fuel cycle. Regardless of which option countries prefer, nuclear power can prevent the emission of 2.5 billion tons of carbon dioxide every year while safely isolating waste products from the environment 